The Paleomericidae are an extinct family of ruminants in the order Artiodactyla, probably ancestral to deer. They appear to have formed a successful part of an independent radiation of horned ruminants that diversified into a variety of forms during Miocene. Amplomerix had frontal and occipital appendages. Musk deer may be a surviving representative of the Paleomericidae. They differ from cervids by lacking antlers and facial glands and by possessing only a single pair of teats, a pair of tusk-like teeth and, of particular economic importance to humans, a musk gland. Due to the severe amount of poaching for its musk gland, the deer population is continuing to decrease. It is expected that the population will be reduced to at least 30% over the next three generations. Although most skeletons have been found in bogs in Ireland, the animal was not exclusive to Ireland and was not closely related to either of the living species currently called elk. However, other phylogenetic analyzes support a sister group relationship with fallow deer. Some research has suggested that a lack of sufficient high-quality forage caused the extinction of the elk. But many scientists argue that factors like ecological change and hunting by people wiped out these animals. The most distinctive feature of Euclidoceras was its comb-like antlers with the dichotomous branching of each antler tine. It was the first deer genus to have highly evolved antlers, however its cranial shape and dental morphology remained primitive. The wild population of Skimburg's deer is thought to have died out because of overhunting in 1932, with the last captive individual being killed in 1938. This deer was a graceful species similar in appearance to the Barasinga. The Pereira David's deer is a species of deer that are mostly found in captivity. This semi-aquatic animal prefers marshland and is native to the subtropics of China. It grazes mainly on grass and aquatic plants. The Sika deer is one of the few deer species that does not lose its spots upon reaching maturity. Lifestyles vary between individuals, with some occurring alone while others are found in single sex groups. Reindeer are ruminants, having a four chambered stomach. They mainly eat lichens in winter, especially reindeer moss, a unique adaptation among mammals, and are the only large mammal able to metabolize lichen owing to specialized bacteria and protozoa in their gut. Unlike most other deer species, moose are solitary animals, and is the largest and heaviest extant species in the deer family. It appeared during the late Pleistocene epoch and since the 1990s, moose populations have declined dramatically in much of temperate North America. The anatomy of Tsada Motherium suggests that the living animals lived in comparatively cold environments.
remains of Nilgai have been excavated at Pandu Rajadibi, suggesting that they were domesticated or hunted in eastern India in the Neolithic period. They are extensively featured in paintings, dagger hilts and texts from the Mughal era. During the day, Greater Qudas normally cease to be active and instead seek cover under woodland, especially during hot days. Despite occupying such widespread territory, they are sparsely populated in most areas due to declining habitat. Bongo is among the largest of the African forest antelope species and have a complex social interaction. They are both timid and easily frightened, after a scare, a bongo moves away at considerable speed, even through dense undergrowth. The horns of Polarovis santicus were also magnificent but resembled in shape more those of the water buffalo, it was even placed in the genus Bubulus by early specialists. During the Pliocene, the colder climate caused an extension of open grassland, which led to the evolution of large grazers, such as wild bovines. The oldest aurochs remains have been dated to about 2 million years ago, in India. Yak physiology is well adapted to high altitudes, having larger lungs and heart than cattle found at lower altitudes, as well as greater capacity for transporting oxygen through their blood. Domesticated yaks have been kept for thousands of years, primarily for their milk and meat. Water buffalo were domesticated in Indian subcontinent about 5,000 years ago. The present-day river buffalo is the result of complex domestication processes. The African buffalo is not an ancestor of domestic cattle and is only distantly related to other larger bovines. They are widely regarded as very dangerous animals, as according to some estimates they gore and kill over 200 people every year. Giant bison is believed to have lived in small family groups grazing in the Great Plains and browsing in the woodlands of North America. Paleontologists believe it preferred the warmer climes of what's now the United States. Bison are migratory and herd migrations can be directional as well as altitudinal in some areas. Bison have usual daily movements between foraging sites during the summer. They became nearly extinct by a combination of commercial hunting and slaughter in the 19th century and introduction of bovine diseases from domestic cattle. The European bison is the heaviest surviving wild land animal in Europe but it is slightly lighter in body mass and yet taller at the shoulder than the American bison. A feature unique to the springbok is prinking, in which the springbok performs multiple leaps into the air, up to two above the ground, in a stiff-legged posture, with the back bowed and the white flap lifted. It can live without drinking water for years, meeting its requirements through eating succulent vegetation. Thomson's gazelles can reach speeds of 80 to 90 km per hour. It is the fifth fastest land animal, after the cheetah, pronghorn, springbok and wildebeest. Grant's gazelle shows high genetic variation among its populations, though there is no geographic isolation. The differentiation of the species may have evolved during repeated expansion and contraction of arid habitats during the late Pleistocene era. The antelope is native to and found mainly in India, while it is extinct in Bangladesh. Formerly widespread, only small, scattered herds are seen today, largely confined to protected areas. The lifespan is typically 10 to 15 years. Fossils of Sega date to early Pleistocene, 
The Sega ranged from as far west as modern-day England and France to as far east as northern Siberia. For ungulates, mass mortalities are not uncommon, research indicates warmer weather and attendant humidity caused bacteria common in Sega antelopes to move into the bloodstream and cause toxicity. Social behavior is influenced by the climate and geography, as such, the Impalu are territorial at certain times of the year and gregarious at other times, and the length of these periods can vary broadly among populations. Not all wildebeest are migratory, while having the appearance of a frenzy, Recent research has shown a herd of wildebeest possesses what is known as a swarm intelligence, whereby the animals systematically explore and overcome the obstacle as one. The Adax is a critically endangered species of antelope, although extremely rare in its native habitat due to unregulated hunting. It is quite common in captivity. Due to its slow movements, the antelope is an easy target for its predators. The blue buck, as Klein puts it, became extinct before qualified scientists could make observations on live specimens. It was the first large African mammal to face extinction in historical times, followed by the quagga in 1883. The giant sable antelope is the national symbol of Angola, and is held in a great regard by its people. This was perhaps one of the reasons the animals survived the long civil war. They are shy by nature, but they can also be very aggressive. When the oryx is not wandering its habitat or eating, it digs shallow depressions in soft ground under shrubs or trees for resting. They are able to detect rainfall from a distance and follow in the direction of fresh plant growth. The scimitar oryx was domesticated in ancient Egypt and is believed to have been used as food and sacrificed as offerings to gods. Its decline began as a result of climate change during the Neolithic period, and later it was hunted extensively for its horns. The muskox is an arctic hoofed mammal, noted for its thick coat and for the strong odor emitted during the seasonal rut by males, from which its name derives. This musky odor is used to attract females during mating season. Rather than localized scent glands, the tarquin has an oily, strong-smelling substance secreted over the whole body. This is likely the reason for the swollen appearance of the face. Its physical similarity to the muskox is therefore an example of convergent evolution. Myotorega eyes were not directed towards the sides, as are those of nearly all the herbivorous mammals, but towards the front like nearly all primates and carnivorans granting them stereoscopic vision. It seems that it was more closely related to sheep than to goats. The mountain goat's ancestors thus probably crossed the Bering Strait after they split from their relatives, presumably before there was Consenian glaciation. One of the most amazing things about Marcos is their long, twisty horns that can grow to up to 1.6 meters long. These horns are used to fight with each other during breeding season. Like many other species of goat, they are excellent climbers. Threats against walleye IBX include habitat loss, poaching and restricted range, only about 500 individuals survived in the mountains of Ethiopia. The adult walleye IBX's only known wild predator is the hyena. Alpine IBX tend to live in steep, rough terrain near the snow line. They are also social, 
Although adult males and females segregate for most of the year, coming together only to mate. The ancestral sheep is presumed to have had 60 chromosomes, as in goats. Mouflon and domestic sheep have 54 chromosomes, with three pairs of ancestral acrocentric chromosomes joined to form bi-armed chromosomes. This is in contrast to the Argali and Ariel, which have 56 and 58 chromosomes respectively. Bighorn sheep are named for the large, curved horns borne by the rams. 200 years ago, they were widespread in North America. Some estimates placed their population at over 2 million.